Well, this is kind of a little fine. I, I thought I was using a 25 count. Anyway, if you want, we can do just one like this. Mm, this design. And I can show you, I can show you the pattern that we use for that. We made this kind of cluster block. I'll show you the pattern. So this is the pattern. You make a cluster block towards here and there. The way to do that, I'll give you the, oh here, this is a more detailed one with the numbering. So this is bar one, bar two, that is meaning this ones. So, but these are the cluster blocks, one, two, three, four, and then you turn five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You make five, I mean twelve cluster blocks in this sequence. You will see that there are red, red, red lines here. These red lines are your cutting lines. This is where you're going to cut, here, here, here. Oh, these are your cutting lines, here and here. Now, this cutting, these red lines can also help you. Uh, this all can indicate where you will start your needle, where you will go up. So on the first cluster block, again, that's like what we did. Up here, down there, up, up, up. Mm. Remember, these are vertical, horizontal, vertical, horizontal, alternate of vertical and horizontal stitches. So we should not have any diagonal threads at the back of these cluster blocks. So I'll show you how to do this and then I'll show you how to do this little thing in the center. This, this is called the dove's eye, this stitch. So each stitch, each design on a hard anger is, uh, they have a name, so they call it the dove's eye. So what we'll do is, again, what do we use for our cluster block? We use uh, the thicker thread, size 8. Size 8 is for the cluster block. So siguro I'll cut a little bit more. But this is it. So here, you cut here. And where do you put your, the, the thread on the needle is on the start. You know why? There's an explanation to that. Like, like the fabric, there's a right side and the wrong side. If you, if you run your fingers from here, this is a tip, huh? it doesn't, you don't read it uh, in most of the books. If you do like this, you will feel uh, it is a little smooth than if you do this one. It's kind, you feel the roughness instead of this one feeling very smooth. So if you thread your needle here, so your, your, th your, your thread is passing through the whole of the fabric this way. There is not much, um, what you call this, friction. Whereas kung ganito, the more you, it passes like this, it will a little fray a little bit. So when you do satin stitches, it's nice if your stitches are very uh, shiny, and you know it's not uh, parang it's not uh, fuzzy, so it's better that you use this. This was taught to me by my teacher in the in the U.S. So I learned these tips also from them. I where is our needle? So we change it with a size eight, with a size eight uh, thread. Let's make this series of cluster blocks. You know, before when I started the the store, I was really, I really um, wanted to teach in the store. And I think that was the best move because uh, I was able to to keep the interest of the students. 
by for them learning the different uh, different uh, kinds of needlework. So let's start with the first with the first cluster block. Again, we need the three inches away waist knot. So we can maybe put our waist knot here, and then this should be about three inches already. <laughs> 